Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are continuing with our organic chemistry series and we are looking at the chemical properties of organic compounds. Last week uh, we looked at um, addition reactions and the opposite of addition will be elimination reactions. So we will be looking at some elimination reactions today. But if you know your addition reactions, basically if you add hydrogen, it's hydrogenation. So if you remove hydrogen, it becomes dehydrogenation. And if you remove a hydrogen and a halogen, then it becomes dehydrohalogenation. And if you remove water, it becomes dehydration. And if you move, uh, remove halogens, it becomes dehalogenation. So we see that elimination reactions are the opposite of addition reactions. And what is also important to note is that elimination reactions take place uh, with alkanes. Alkanes undergo elimination reactions, where the single bond is replaced by a double bond. Whereas if you look at addition reactions, we see that alkenes become alkanes. So the double bond becomes a single bond in addition reactions, and the single bond becomes a double bond in elimination reactions. Now, if you look at this example that we have here, we've got a uh, halo alkane where we've got uh, two chlorines uh, and we see that we are having an elimination reaction. We see that the chlorines are removed, uh, one chlorine is removed from the reaction and one hydrogen is removed from the reaction. So we have to, if we have to identify this reaction, we can say it's a D hydrohalogenation reaction. And the reason we're saying that is because one hydrogen is removed, here's the hydrogen that's removed, and there's one chlorine removed from this reaction. Now here we have another reaction that is a bit more involved. I'm not going to do all the reactions. If you remove hydrogen, then you get dehydrogenation, uh, uh, etc. I just did the one example. I want to focus a little bit on something else. That if you look at this example that we have here, if you look carefully in this example, we see that here we're adding NaOH plus heat, and we see that this compound becomes this compound is your major product. So let's just not let's not look at this particular. The product, this is your minor product. Now, in this case, which is more involved, we see that the Br is removed from there and the H is removed from there. So this is a dehydrohalogenation reaction as well. But we see that the Br that comes out joins with the Na to form NaBr. And the H that comes out joins with the OH to form H2O. But the important point I want to highlight here is that where does a double bond form? Does a double bond form between the first and the second carbon or the second and the third carbon? And that's where Zaytsev's rule comes in. And he says that the hydrogen atom will be removed from the carbon with the least hydrogen atoms. So if you look here, in this case, we see that the carbon with the least hydrogen, the, 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 the end carbon's got three hydrogens attached. This carbon has one hydrogen attached and this carbon that's removed also has less carbon. So the double bond, uh, sorry, less, less, has less hydrogens. The middle two carbons have less hydrogens than the side one. So the double bond will be formed between the second and the third carbon. And if you look here in this case, we see that's exactly what happens where the double bond forms with the carbons that have the least hydrogens. So this is an interesting uh, example also where we see that we have to have heat in the presence of ethanol and uh, we see that this reaction takes place. Another reaction that we can look at uh, as a dehydration reaction is the dehydration of alcohols. If you look here, we have an alcohol, ethanol, and in the presence of sulfuric acid and heat, we see that it can become ethene and water. So the reaction conditions for this dehydration of alcohol reaction is 
uh, the, the alcohol must be heated with a concentrated, concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid. And this is called an acid catalyzed reaction, uh, dehydration reaction. So going further now, another elimination reaction that we can have is known as cracking. And if you look at cracking, what happens is we have a long carbon chain compound, organic compound, and under heat, we see that it can break up to form ethene as one of the products, and we've got a smaller carbon chain, now with three carbons in the line. So we see that the longer chain was broken up into smaller chains. So cracking is when longer carbon chains are broken up into smaller chains, and we see that an elimination reaction has taken place because the hydrogens are eliminated. So there, those are just some aspects to consider when looking at elimination reactions in contrast to addition reactions. So that is where we will stop today. Thank you very much for listening.